So on the note of mechanical failures, this is a really good tip. When we have mechanical failures, the chain stretches, the belt stretches, the gears wear, uh, the guide wears, whenever we have slack in the system or a gear moves on the shaft, anything that mechanically fails will yield in retarded timing. So keep that in mind as just a normal wear of valve timing occurs, it will retard. If you are diagnosing a system that does not have variable cam timing, and let's say we're looking at a camshaft and crankshaft relationship, or we have a trouble code in which it says that the timing is advanced, it either takes human error, meaning somebody installed the parts incorrectly to advance the timing on a non-variable cam timing system, or the trigger has slipped. For example, the trigger might be the flywheel in such the case of a Chrysler vehicle and the flywheel has cracked where it is mounted to the crankshaft. Obviously, this would cause the trigger to be off, the cam and crank relationship, variable cam timing problem. Now, if we have variable cam timing, then we could be checking the cam and crank relationship or we could see a data PID that shows us actual versus desired, and we see that the camshaft timing is advanced. Well, what if the camshaft actuator phaser went to advanced as we were increasing load and RPM, and because of, let's say, varnish and tarnish in the system, it stuck in the advanced position. When you come back down to idle, and the cam timing is advanced, the engine's going to run rough. So if we have an actual variable cam timing system, we could be over advanced because the camshaft phaser stuck in the advanced position. It could be varnish, tarnish, it could be hydraulic lubrication problem. We could possibly have a, an electrical short to ground that is turning on the oil control valve, letting oil to go and advance the camshaft when the computer did not command it because we have a short to ground between the PCM and the oil control valve. Last but not least, it is also the possibility that the computer has decided for some reason the driver channel has shorted internally and the computer itself is advancing the timing when the programming is not calling for it in the prom area of the computer.